Um, this video or that we're doing live here um, is to walk you through the process of getting from you've recorded your interview, you've edited it in Final Cut, you've uploaded that video to YouTube and some time has passed and you've given YouTube the chance to go ahead and make a rough transcription of the file. So we're starting off here in YouTube and I've got a few videos here that I recently uploaded. Um, one of them is this interview here um, with the cheesemaker in Hampshire, Stacy Hedges. And if you, you click on it, you see you'll have a setting here for subtitles. Um, when you first upload your video to YouTube, it will have this English United States video language. It'll just have this one here. But once YouTube goes and listens to your audio file, it's going to have this second option where it says English automatic. It's listened to the file and it's going to go ahead and make a transcript of it. So what you want to do at this point is click on duplicate and edit. And it gets you down to the very bottom of this transcript. And I'll, I'll scroll up here. And so you can see the transcript is like not particularly edited or anything like that. It's not punctuated or anything like that. But in a lot of ways, it's actually pretty accurate. All right. So what you want to do is go ahead and copy all of it. I don't need to look up um. And it will copy. It will do every last little um and ah. And, uh, and we'll talk about how you deal with those things here in a minute. So this is a hour and 21 minute. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to use my Command C, copy, and it's on my clipboard. So the, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and close this. And it's going to ask you, do you want to save the changes? Go ahead and discard those changes. You don't, you don't want to save anything that you did in doing that. Now, we're using a program, and upstairs on the two iMacs in the one room, in the one iMac in the other, we have copies of a program called Inkscribe, I-N-Q-S-C-R-I-B-E. And I have it here on this laptop, which is right here. It's got the little, oh, did it stop? Did it stop recording my screen? No, it's still recording my screen. All right, good. So when you open Inkscribe, and it's got a, a plain, unadorned window, just to give you a little tour, you have this window over here where you do your typing, and you have a little, this blue area here where you can have your media. And what this does is, okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and paste in your transcript. And, and you do this, you realize just how long it is, <laughs> you know. Um, um, and you can see, like, there, there are no, um, and here was me talking at the beginning of the, of the restaurant of the interview and like oh god do I really want to transcribe all this and, and so forth um, you know that that brings up a good point there might be there might be a point in your interview where you and your interviewee are like testing the microphones like check is this working and stuff and then at some point you're like you know this is Adelaide and I'm here with you know Mia and we're here to talk about that you can go ahead, one thing you might do, which I did not do here, um, but when you upload your file to YouTube, before you do that, you can trim the front and the back of it. You can trim that stuff off because that's just, I didn't do that here, but then also at the end of the interview, you're like, oh, and okay, thank you. Thank you for doing this. And then you're like, the microphones are still going when you're turning off the microphone and stuff like that. You can choose just not to transcribe that, but I'm going to show you why maybe you want to go ahead and trim that before you transcribe, All right? I'll show you here in a second. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do, I've got, I've got 
the text from um, you get the text from YouTube. The next thing you're going to want to do is put the video in here. And so I've got mine on this this drive, and here's um, the video. I mean, I, I keep things in folders for a reason. And what you l literally do is drag your video over there, and it's going to give you a little warning. It says your media. I I use 24 set I would just say it doesn't really matter here um, use the media rate and so now you've got a video that you can play alongside your transcript now if you find that this um, this this window this this text is like um, there's sort of transcripts there you you can you can change like the text size and stuff in this program through settings um, but the first thing I'm going to do now that I've got these two kind of things set up is I'm going to save my file all right so I'm going to go file save and since I haven't saved this before I'm going to go put this in the folder on my hard drive with the video that it's there, right? And my audio recordings, I'm keeping all my media together in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and call this Stacy Hedges transcript. Saving it. And then you'll notice in the folder then, of course, I've got an Inkscribe folder with an extension INQSCR in that folder. Come on in, you're going to make it. I know this is boring technical instruction, but you've got it in you. I know it's sleepy hour, it's 3.30, and it's on, this is on the recording, so you would be like, oh, God, y'all are listening to this. So anyway, um, you're ready to start editing. Now, over here in your media window, you've got controls, right? So one key you never use when you're transcribing is the tab button, and so the tab button starts and stops the, vid the, the media. So I hit tab. Okay, we were talking about something else at the beginning of the interview. Um, we were talking about going to Sicily. Anyway, um, was, we were making small talk before the interview. Uh, you, I know that's a shock to you all, but anyway. Um, so anyway, you use the tab button to start and stop the video. And the, and the reason, of course, is because um, you don't, you don't want to use a space bar, right? So if you were transcribing using um, like, like QuickTime in Microsoft Word or QuickTime in, in Google, in addition to having to go back and forth between the video or the audio file and the text, every time you hit the space bar, you'd be starting and stopping your, your media file. So you use the tab key. And then there's another cool thing. So say I'm in the middle of this and it's playing along. Um, and I just hit the space button because this, I hit tab. Oh dear. And I, I'm all of a sudden, wait, what did she say? I hit shift tab. It just jumps back. Right, so shift tab will jump backward. Um, you've got Skip back eight, oh, this is actually control tab right here. So skip back eight seconds, control tab. So I hit play. You're like, what was that? You just jump back, control tab on the fly to verify. This is a super handy, handy, um, this is a super handy thing because, again, a lot of your transcript is going to be like you're going to be reading through it and you're editing your transcript, right? So you're not going to be necessarily sitting here clacking away every word, but you're going to be fixing lots of things. Um, this is something I do <laughs> right here. I think I've said, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
uh, there'll be lots of things like that because YouTube is brutally honest in the way it transcribes. And so, I mean, you could leave it all in there word for word. One of the things I do tend to do um, in terms of like clarity's sake, if an interviewee is going, um, uh, um, at the first um, I might go, um, dot, dot, dot. And then take all that sort of like, oh gosh, uh, uh, and then pick up where they start talking again with another ellipses, right? Dot, dot, dot. It, it's, it's just like in terms, remember, this is going to be a, a, a document that you're going to read, for one, that's kind of like, just makes it easier to read, right? It takes that stuff out. Um, but also, like, I think there's one, one thing to think about in terms of transcribing. There's a level of respect for your interviewee I think you should have. Um, one thing that sometimes YouTube will do, um, but less I do find, but it will do. Um, you interview somebody who just like, as a matter of course, the way they speak, they drop the G from I was doing this, I was doing that. They're not trying to say I was doing this and I was doing that. It's just the way they talk. And it's like, this is a, this is a like, are you slipping into writing dialect? To me, dialect is no bueno, right? We don't do that. Because um, it's not, you know, like dialect, writing dialect has like some really bad history to it, right? At the same time, you have to decide, am I being faithful to what the person is saying. So you don't change anything like word syntax or the what they're doing or you know some people go and they're like they'll get into voice and and I'm I'm getting real mad. Well getting it, there's not going to be a G on that. I'm getting real mad. You're not going to change that to I'm getting real mad or you know but if they were saying well I was playing baseball with my friends you probably put ing on the end of it. There's not like an emphasis in that kind of way of speaking. It's, there's a sort of natural quality to it. But I guess if I'm going to give you any kind of word of advice, always err on the side of respect. Like what you think is respectful and faithful to what your interviewee says. This is very important because you're creating a document that is their word, right? And, and so, again, taking out some of the, the word vomit things that we all use. The occasional like, sometimes you have a, in it, what I call a liker. Um, my spouse does this when she's particularly nervous. And the word, because she's of that generation where the like, you know, the, the kind of, and I, in my mind I see the little like logo from Facebook. Every time the word goes, I see them kind of floating through the air. Um, and that's a tough one because they're usually interspersed. Two words that we need to hear, like. Another two words that we need to hear, like. Like. Another two words we need to hear, like. And so stuff like that is a little harder to edit out. You know, and then the question becomes, do you want to edit out? I realize how many times I say, you know, or um, when I hear myself talk. I am self-consciously trying not to do either of those things right now, um, but I just did. We do. We tend to change things along. Um is one of those words that you can at times leave out, but YouTube picks up every last um. I, oh, I let it go dark. And is it still recording? It is still recording, so it was recording my voice, I guess, but not actual graphics. So we've got this in here. It's saved. Th this has an auto save, um, which is a feature of the new Inkscribe. Once upon a moon, it did not. <laughs> and that, that had la led to some wailing and gnashing of teeth uh, before. So the next thing is now you can, you can you know to pause and, and start and stop with, with the, the tab key. The next most important thing over here are these snippets. You'll notice there's this little menu over here with snippets. So you go ahead here and edit those. 
And I've got one for me. Um, I've gone ahead and, and made one. Uh, <laughs> but what this is doing is, you see over here, it's in brackets, dollar sign time, end bracket, my name, and a colon. What it is, is it's running a little script. And so when I do this hotkey, wherever the playhead is, it will, uh, over here, and I'll, I'll demonstrate this for you, wherever the playhead is in the recording, it will put in a timestamp from the playhead and put it in the transcript. This is, once you kind of get the hang of it, this, this will save you an enormous amount of time in making this sort of transcript um, because it, it goes and there's no, oh my gosh, you know, what is the time code? What time is it? Where? You don't have to type all that in manually. It's, it's there. Yes. For those of us that haven't used this program before and are doing like maybe 45 minute interviews, mm -hmm. what do you expect the time to commitment is to do that interview? Okay, so that there, there are some variables. Mm -hmm. uh, it does take some time to do it. A 45 minute interview, I would, I would block out a couple hours, maybe three hours, to do something like that. Uh, you're gonna, so it's, a lot's gonna depend on how many people are talking at the same time. I interviewed a husband and wife, <laughs> where, you know, if you've got people who are married a long time, they answer each other's sentences <laughs> and interrupt each other all the time. And so I had a three-speaker interview, me and the two interview subjects, so I had three-speaker tags to track, and then like constantly back and forth, and that can be really time-consuming. It took me a really, and it was an, also an hour, and it was actually an over two-hour interview. It took me a long time. Um, it took me like eight hours. But where you have a one-on-one -on -one interview, and there's less back and forth, it can be a lot less intrusive. You'll, you'll need to do things like capitalize and do the punctuation, you know, and so forth. Um, but a two-person interview, I feel like, especially if once you kind of get the hang of how to navigate this program, which you'll learn in the first 10 minutes of using it, it's, it's actually quite simple. Um, you, you should be good. So, all right, I've defined a trigger. Um, in fact, Sally Hatton was one of those married uh, people uh, that I that I um, interviewed. I'm going to go ahead and edit hers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and Sally Hatton. Actually, too funny. It says Pippa Staples. So I'm going to change that to Stacy Hedges. And I'm going to change the title of it to Stacy Hedges. And then you have this thing where you can define the trigger. You're like, define the trigger. Um, so you're deciding what keys you're going to press to get this snippet. And I tend to go and like make it option plus the letter of their first name. So I'll just make it option S. Oops, that put a character in there. Define trigger. And right now I go option S. And now it is, OK, option S. Boom, there it is, done. Now I have Stacy Hedges as option S and myself as option J. And at the very head of this interview, I go at 000, I go option J because I was talking. And I'm going to put dot, dot, dot <laughs> because I'm picking up mid sentence. And I hit tab. Yes, it says that one's recording. Stacy Hedges is on Okay, she just laughed, so I'm, okay. <laughs> um, and, uh, so I know the geography Yeah, and I'll go dot, dot, dot. I didn't really end the sentence. I said, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and capitalize S. This went very well. And, of course, that, that, that looked you know, pretty well for me, I guess. Yeah. People And, and, and what you're going to find is a lot of sentences when you're having a conversation don't end. Let's see. And I'm going to control tab back eight seconds. And of course, that, that, that looked you know, pretty well for me, I guess. Yeah. People 
and she starts talking there, and I'm going to go option S. Well, I'm going to hit return. Dot, dot, dot. And then dot, dot, dot. And then me talking about me. Now, go figure. Shift W. You, you're going to learn to really hate your own voice by the end of this, by the way. And since we're there, I go option J. And, and then you realize, oh gosh, this could take a while, right? Option S. Right. We're talking over each other. Option uh, J. Embrace the idea of becoming American. Oh, that's her saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be her saying, yeah eight times in the interview, not me. Possibly. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to disown it. Option S. Dot, dot, dot. So she replied. You get stuff like this that can be very time consuming. You're going back in little bits and forth. But then you'll find there'll be a whole like, the person's talking for five minutes and you have this whole long block paragraph. And then it's just a matter of going in and editing. I'm finding that the YouTube, the YouTube, all right. One thing I've sort of discovered in this workflow, I just want to show you something. I go over here to YouTube and I go into duplicate and edit and I want to look at these, at these. So to show you how evolving this is right now, when I did this last summer, it wouldn't capitalize things like New Orleans or Sicily or Australia. It just wouldn't, it just wouldn't do it. The IA was there. Like, you know, you think about like doing that. In that time, those little beavers working away at YouTube in their great YouTube headquarters with their overlords from the Bay Area have added this to their AI. They just saved you guys collectively, I don't know how many hours, by doing, they saved me a bunch of hours by doing that. It's just, we live in a, in a really crazy time and um, discard changes. So you get to the end and you've gone and you've transcribed everything. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Save. All right. All right. Now, I want to do this without screwing something up. But I'm going to show you something else. So I go to my finder. At the end, I'm going to pull up a finished, um, let's see. Here we go, Hatton. This is the uh, this is the interview. I'll just leave that out as it is. That I was talking about with this married couple, right? And you can see where I'm going back and forth, and you can kind of see the pace of it. Here's Sally Hat Hatton talking, and then her sentence drifts off. And then Andrew Hatton goes in, and there are a lot of pauses. So if I go in here, and I'm going to let you listen to this and see kind of like what the transcribing looks like, but in relationship to his, his talking, because I took a lot of words out. So got an M. I took out some muttering, uh, some ums. <laughs> I, I desperate to do everything that I've learned in my agricultural education. And, and um, we did that for four or five years and realized that that wasn't going to work. So, so I don't He said, going to work. I put in going to work. I could have put it in Ghana. 
but I think he meant going. It's a judgment call, right? You are, you realize actually how like subtle that editorial hand is in like changing meaning and everything else? Again, it's, it's a discernment thing. One opportunity to show a radical rethink and um, ended up changing direction and probably going against the flow in terms of uh, farming practices, really, yeah, at the time. Um, so, yeah, that, that's so, so the environmental bit. You don't have to, every time you grunt or make an encouraging noise, put it in the transcript. Just partly through the, the, the angry environment. Angry environment came is either angry environment or um, all kinds of it was really funny. Every now and then you'll be laughing out loud when you transcribe your thing because, of course, I told you about the French Jesus. The French cheeses became French Jesus in the automatic transcribing. So the scheme that we were in, and, and then partly from a perspective that we, we realized that we could we could get paid twice for doing this in a way. And that, that, that we were so you get the idea. And the other thing is, like, she, he's got a fairly thick Yorkshire accent and it's able to figure it out. This actually does work. I don't speak other languages well enough to tell the difference, but this does actually work in all kinds of languages, like it works in Spanish and it works in, you know, uh, you know all kinds of languages. And so you can get a transcript um, automatically generated. So that's kind of what you do. So when it's all done, You'll go and copy everything out of here, all right? And then you go back to YouTube, and this is where it gets kind of interesting. Let's see, this was before all of you. And so ultimately, We'll be talking, I'll have more instructions about how to do all this stuff. You do your little, your citation and all that other stuff. I'll, I'll cover that in a minute. Right now, you've got a lot of transcribing to do. <laughs> um, but when, as you get your transcripts done, so what you do is you go back to subtitles and, um, oh God, I, do I want to do this? YouTube's a little tricky sometimes. You go to duplicate and edit. Oh crap. So these are the automatic ones. And you can I'm gonna I'm gonna discard changes. You go and you actually paste you can paste in your corrected transcript. It will re listen to it. Listen to your words and line them up on the video. So you've got actual accurate subtitles with speaker tags. So if I go to this, watch it probably is now all screwed up. <laughs> it was an hour and 55 minutes, I stand corrected. Just before I start, I, so, yes. so I'm a historian yes. and, and, um, and I write about labor and work yes. and also um, sort of social aspects and kind of meaning and I, you know I've read a lot of stuff about cheese and the really amazing stuff you're doing in terms of environment and cheese but I'm like well, people say oh you're the food guy well <laughs> anyway so this is me talking but it goes one thing I noticed it takes out the apostrophes when it shows you know I don't know why you have to ask, you you have to get to the Google minions to get that answer. I don't I don't know why. So that's that's what I have. Um, let's see, how do I get this to stop recording? I go. St